Ah, uh, this is really, really cool. Um, so here is the Google Doc um, embedded as a page in Canvas. Um, what it does is it displays sort of a window that you can scroll through. Um, and then once you get past that window, you can get to whatever it else it is you want to put on the Canvas page. Um, the bummer is that the Google Doc is not interactive as a Google Doc. It's just displaying whatever text is published on it. So what I did was on the Google Doc itself. So here's here's the same thing in Google Docs, right? I just added this link to this actually this this page itself. Um, so and the reason I did that was once it's displaying in Canvas, this becomes a link that students can click on and it totally opens in the Canvas page. <laughs> so uh, so students don't ever have to leave. Um, and what's really cool about this is once they click on that link, they they're still on the right, the Canvas page, whatever you put down here, they can interact with the discussion you set up. And then when the next student comes in, um, they're just going to look at a really clean um, version of the Google Doc without all the you know, mess, you know, things to look at. It's really awesome. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you just one more thing. Uh, so when you create, I'm pretty sure you could do this in any, any place in Canvas that has rich text, right? Because all this is, is just an HTML iframe, right? And it's that iframe that's, that's allowing the embed code to display like it does. All this other code is the buttons and stuff that I want at the bottom of the page, right? So it's all this stuff. So this is really cool. Uh, Chad is awesome for finding this and sharing, etc. So anyway, um, have fun.